gonna stay. Put it right there. Okay. Hi guys. So it's <laughs> I don't wanna say that it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera because I've done other content and stuff for like Instagram and TikTok. But it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. Um my last video I posted was when I was in Spain back in September and now it is February of 2023 so it's <laughs> it's been some time I've been seeing some content creators do like these you know like updates for the new year and stuff like that so um let me, ooh, let me lock my car so I decided that I would do that too kind of just I don't know to put something out there and give you guys an update on where I've been and what's been going on um so I got myself some coffee because I'm in my car I'm behind a target <laughs> and um I went to the gym to just clear my mind really oh my gosh it's the paper straws I can't do this I'm sorry you guys but I'm not an advocate for the paper straws. I understand they save the turtles, but plastic right here. So, okay, paper, but plastic. So we really haven't done anything, I feel like. We need bigger change if we're gonna save the turtles, okay? Ooh, and I really just wanted to stir my caramel, but I can't, sorry. Yeah, I just thought I would get some coffee, sit down in my car, say hello and tell you guys what's been going on let's see like I said my last video I posted was of my trip back to Spain to be with my boyfriend and um, that vlog ended with me not knowing what was gonna happen next when the next time we were gonna see each other and all that and well that has not really changed um, sadly we we have been hope we were hoping like okay worst case if he's not here we're planned for March. Right now we don't see that happening either. I got back from Spain. Basically I lost my job. My my boss just ghosted me. Like she didn't respond to my calls, my texts or nothing. So she just left me. Um I was out of a job. I had to figure out what to do for work <laughs> and I remember praying and I was just like god I don't really want to have to do a nine to five job the hours that I was doing previously allowed me to still pursue my content and <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> and my love for that and I was like I don't want to have to take on a job where I can't do this anymore or like I have to move away from it because like I've been growing in the and the thing with content creating and anything of that like you have to be consistent and if you're not it's really hard and I was like I feel like I'm getting momentum like brands are like reaching out to me more I'm getting paid like I don't want to stop this momentum and all this hard work so and then I was like and I want to be able to have a job that when Daniel does get to come here to America I'm not gone all the time because like you know he's gonna have to acclimate a lot to the culture here and learn the language and I don't want to be in a position where like I'm gone all the time and I can't help him and I can't be a, a good support system for him you know and so I was just telling God like that is my desire because when he's here I want to be able to be a helping hand to him as much as possible to help him through the transition and to help him you know get to know the lay of the land in the culture here and I can't do that if I'm gone from nine to five you know that was something I prayed and I was just like God if if the job is not of you shut the door don't even like just shut it don't let me walk through it so I was applying but I was like but I'm gonna do my part because I have to do my part you know I can't just sit here and like pray but I'm just sitting on my butt right like I have to take the steps and see what is of of you you know so like I was applying for all of these places and like simple places like Target stock um clothing stores like things that did not require a high education level right I was not getting a single one nothing was hiring me and I was like okay well that's odd 
Um, and I, in my flesh, like in my mind, I was a little like panicking because I'm like, I can't get a job. Like everyone's hiring. Everyone is literally hiring right now. And I'm like, so what's the problem? Because if you need someone to hang clothes up, I can do that. But like nothing. So I remember saying like, okay, God, this has to be you because I specifically told you to shut the door. Don't open it. If it wasn't going to work out, you know, or be beneficial for me and for Daniel. And so I hear my car strike by. <laughs> so I feel like that's what he did. Um, but I still was not knowing, like, I did not know what was going to go on. So I started door dashing because that you can do in your own time and all that stuff. So I did pick that up. But meanwhile, I still had no idea, like, job, main job wise, because I wasn't sure if DoorDash was going to, like, give me enough of income. But, anyways, so my mom, who I was working for, like, two years ago or a year ago, her partner that she took on decided to move on and quit for his personal reasons. And at that point, my mom need, needed someone. Like, she's just at the point where she doesn't really want to do what she does by herself it's just very physically like taxing on her body so I needed a job <laughs> and the only other person she trusts is me to work with her so obviously I was the only person that could and would work with her you know it was one of those things where in the moment I was like I left doing this because I didn't really want to do it anymore but in the whole scope of things it was God because I don't have to work nine from nine to five. I probably get more pay working the hours I work now and more flexibility versus if I had to do a nine to five job. I'd have to work more hours to make what I make now. You know what I'm saying? It will allow me to be able to be around and be present for when Daniel does come. And I'm still able to do DoorDash. So now I am working with my mom again. Her, her cleaning business. I'm door dashing a few days a week to make some extra money on the side to save up for just my future with Daniel. Like at this point, my mind is just Daniel. And obviously God, but like everything is future. Like any visas that we have to pay for, our future wedding, our future house, just whatever. And I know like God will ultimately ultimately provide but again like I want to do what I can do while I can do it and right now I have the ability to to help save and to help work and all that so that's what I'm going to do and so I'm doing that and then I'm still content creating because now I am making monthly money from that so that's exciting that's a big update for me um you know it's been a lot of hard work it's been it's been I've had my moments with it definitely like oh my gosh am I gonna succeed at this you know it, it does take a lot more work than people think it takes it's not just oh put on a camera and blah, blah. like no you gotta like you gotta think you gotta plan you gotta edit you gotta like you know there's a lot of people in this industry so like you gotta be yourself and try and find what draws people to you and that that was that's been a challenging thing um but yeah, so I'm I'm very proud with how far I've come, but life has just been hectic between working basically three jobs now and then still trying to take care of myself, you know, not overdo myself to the point where like I lash out at people in frustration to where I'm just exhausted, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to remain in a healthy place with God and not be spending so much time trying to plan for my future that I forget to give God my future, you know? And it's it's a hard balance for me because I'm a perfectionist and I'm a very goal-oriented person. So I'm always like, go, go, go. How can I improve on this? How can I be better than yesterday? But sometimes I, I forget to just sit in the moment and be thankful for how far God has brought me and what he has given me. And I've been struggling a lot with the distance with Daniel. Um, we both have it's it's very hard it's hard we don't know anything and at this point I don't know if I'll be able to go back to Spain because of the job that I am doing I can't really leave my mom for two weeks she just physically can't do the work on her own anymore and so that and then he took on a job where he's working different hours and then I'd have to come back home 
and readjust and guys leaving the first time or the second time because the first time I was with my mom and I, I felt like that kind of helped but being there and then having to leave I don't know but guys I was not expecting it to be such an adjustment like I think because the closer I get to him the harder it is to be apart from him and when I was there for two weeks you know we were able to just be together and so having to leave and not have answers you know it's one thing when you can say for sure okay five months we know for sure we're gonna be together that's one thing because at least then you can like you can really just start counting down the days but in our situation we have no news we don't know anything it it, it could be two weeks from now we could get news but it could also be four months from now and that's scary because then when you have to think about the fact that am I going to be able to even go back then you go okay gosh that means it could be another six months until they see him again and like that is so terrifying that is like what I'm dealing with right now in this season of my life is just the emotions of like god I want to see him so bad but if I do and I come back I don't know if I can handle it again I didn't want this to be an emotional video, so <laughs> you know. And I love it, and I love being there in Spain. I love his family. I love his friends. I love, <laughs> I love the city, and you know, like it's just a lot. And so I've been dealing with that, and Daniel's been dealing with that because it's hard. We're both trying to be strong for each other, but sometimes we also. <laughs> need to crumble together <laughs> and just both cry together and both sit in the pain together because it's reality and it's true so it's been hard to juggle everything between you know I haven't even had time to really spend any time focusing on my my small business like that's just been put on hold I didn't want to do that that way but that's just reality of life Sometimes you have to be wise enough to say, okay, I can't do this right now. You know, I want to, but I can't. I can't have everything on my plate because if I do, I am going to break. You know, and right now I'm doing everything in my power to remain positive and all that. And so I've just had to learn to like decide what can I do what can I handle right now and what needs to just be put on hold and if it's the will of God for me to pursue it then it will come back but right now I need to focus on this and that and my evenings are with Daniel because that's really the only time I get to be with him is through our call so like I like to try and leave my evenings open because I need that time with him if I didn't have time those calls with him I don't know how we would do long distance his messaging is just not enough it's been emotional you know I it's one of those things where I'm trying to remain confident in God and trust that he wouldn't have brought us together just to abandon us but like it does not mean that even though I know that in my spirit I also don't feel discouraged and I don't feel like okay but what are we supposed to do right now? You know, and I, I'm trying to have a mindset of like prepare, just prepare, save up, you know, do what you can do, Pre continue to prepare yourself because when Daniel does get here, life forever is going to be different and it there will be changes that will be difficult, but there will also be joys. You're going to go from long distance to now being together and figuring out your next step and like when you're going to get married and when you're going to move, where you can move, where your church is going to be, you know? But God knows. God ultimately knows when we are ready. We think sometimes we're ready, but God really knows when we're ready. So that's where we're at. So now we're in 2023. And, you know, I know this year. I know I'm going to see him this year. I know he's going to come this year. It's just a matter of when he's going to come this year. I'd like to say that we never panic and we never think things. But there are moments where we think and we go, okay, well... Are we going to be able to handle this if it goes on for another five months? Are we going to be able to hold out and remain in this relationship? And that's kind of scary because I think that's just fear speaking. Because I know without a doubt that life without him 
be far worse than what it is with him. You know? Even though there's distance. I love waking up every morning and knowing that I have been given and I have found and I have met and I have fallen in love with my future husband. I love that. I love knowing that. Because that I'm secure in. I'm I'm not I don't know when I'm gonna see him, but I'm secure in the fact that he is the man that I wanna marry. And to me that is the best gift because prior I had no idea. I didn't even know that a man like him existed. So just knowing him is a privilege in being with him. But as far as this new year goes, I don't I'm not really a big resolution kind of gal because I'm just kind of the person where if I want to start something, I'm going to start it tomorrow or whenever I, you know, next week or, um, so, but you know, I think every year, obviously I want to grow in my relationship with God. Like if you are a Christian and you love God, that should be an always thing. Um, but your resolutions are a reflection on your heart. So I will say, yes, I am trying to find avenues to grow closer to God um, and to strengthen my relationship with him. Um, your girl's still hitting the gym. I have been trying to figure out, and I did start like a new workout routine, so I'm going to see how that goes. You know, I want to grow in my relationship with Daniel and my relationship with God, like with him, the three of us, because our goal is to always keep God first. And then um, to keep to keep just doing what I'm doing, um, my content creating, that's, that's growing. Um, I'm proud of that. I've been working with more brands. In fact, um, this is exciting, but Ember, not Ember Chamberlain, but Chamberlain Coffee actually sent me some stuff in the mail this week. So like, yeah. Yeah, a cute little tote bag here. And I got some coffee stuff. So I've been creating some content. Instagram now pays me monthly when I create reels. That's exciting because it's just some extra income for me. Everything that I've been making extra has been going into savings. Now there have been, okay, hold on. There's things that I've had to purchase for work-related stuff as an investment that I have been like, okay, this is helping me because now I can, like, I have some extra money to put towards things that I've been wanting and been needing for work related, but it's not like your girl is like, oh my gosh, I made an extra $300. I'm going to go out and just buy me an extra pair of shoes because I want some. Okay. I might do that at some point, but like, I'm not going to do that every month because I'm saving. My future is so much more important than my present. And I would rather plan for a better future in my present. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my goals that I have with with content creating and being this person that I don't do it just to be like, hi, I brought new products. But, like, to genuinely be real with you guys and to show you, hey, I'm in a long-distance relationship. You want to hear my pain? Like, because it's reality. Like, I, I also take pride in what I do because I try to be an authentic and real person with you guys and show you like you're not alone okay you're not by yourself let's chat sit down listen to my video listen to my pain if it brings you comfort to listen to my pain and it makes you feel more like wow okay I'm not alone then good good I am happy I'm happy that my pain is not in vain and that it's helping someone because you know God takes things and he makes them beautiful, okay? And he did it in me and he can do it in you. So my point is, is like, this is a community to me too, okay? This isn't really just about, oh, she just wants to be someone who gets the free products. No, okay, it's perk. But like, I want to connect with you guys. So that's why I have my Instagram and my TikTok. And you guys, I have people that message me on Instagram and you guys ask me questions about dating, about your faith and relationship with God. Keep that up. I love that. I want you guys to reach out to me and like I might not be able to con like have a continuous conversation with you because I, I just you know I have my life too outside of the internet and I need to keep myself sane and I, I need to keep healthy boundaries but like if I can help you I want to help you. With that me being said like you guys like supporting me and just liking my videos commenting sharing all that stuff subscribing, uh, following me, whatever, 
it helps me out. It, it truly means a lot to me, okay? You guys are making a difference in my life, and I hope that I'm making a difference in your life. <laughs> help me to help you. <laughs> Where's that from? Help me help you. Help me help you. Santa Claus. Um, I gotta save up for Daniel's future wedding ring, too. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for that. My brother, he moved out too. Like, he moved out. He moved to Texas. Oh, get them pics, girl. That's cute. And then, oh yeah, my family. We're still fostering. So, like, juggling that, fostering, you know, fostering is kind of a job too, okay? Because, um, you know, you got appointments, like, all this stuff. So, like, basically four jobs right now. <laughs> and it's in my home. And so, like, you know, in my home, everything changes when we have these kids that come in because life just changes. Every kid is different. They have different needs. They come from different backgrounds and different situations and we have to acclimate to them and we have to rearrange our lives to help them. I I think that's it. I really just wanted to kind of pop on my YouTube channel and let you guys know I'm still alive and I'm still thinking about this channel. I just, like I said, it's hard to, to do everything. Love, if you're watching this, which you normally watch my videos, I love you. I miss you. We're gonna get through this, okay? I'm with you always. Come rain or shine. Remember, <laughs> you are my hero. You are my Prince Charming. And I love you always, okay? I love you in your weak moments and in your strong moments. You're everything to me. Te amo con todo mi corazón. <laughs> I've been working on Spanish. <laughs> still not great <laughs> it's better <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this little catch-up video i love you guys thank you and please keep me in your prayers and uh me and daniel in your prayers <laughs> bye